shed season is upon us. We've all waited a long time for it to get here. But with that said, everybody needs to be aware that these animals are trying to survive. They're wintering right now. Even when there is a shed on the ground, I think it's smart for all of us to do our part and um, to wait till the animals are cleared out of there, or at least until the weather's warming up before you just rush in and uh, go to pick up one shed. And you know what? There's more for everybody if you wait a little bit longer and let them all hit the ground. So I've been watching a group of bucks up here and just like I was worried, a couple of them started dropping. <clears throat> so I've been just leaving them alone and came up this morning and somebody else has been, there's deer, no deer in here anymore. And at least two people have walked through here. So really frustrating, you know, you put the time in and you keep an eye on the animals, you do it the right way. You try to let them winter on their own and uh, you know, relax and, and uh, try to make it through this winter and then somebody comes up and blows it up for you. So I guess it's part of the game, but uh, anyways, since someone's already busted them all out of here and there's no deer in here, I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what we can pick up. There's a couple of deer that are on my target list, so hopefully we can pick one up. And uh, Ruby's on it. I've seen a lot of bloody beds already and some rubs and several shed bucks, you know, over the past week or so. So wish us luck. We'll see you in a bit. Nice rub here. Come on, Rubes, pick one up for me, buddy. Pick one up. We got a bloody bed right here. Been seeing a bunch. That's a really nice bed. And we know there's sheds on the ground because, like I said, I've been watching these deer and I know that at least four had shed in here before, uh, before these guys came in and blew them all out. So. I know there's a few sheds in here for sure. Um, I don't know how many of those guys picked up, but hopefully they didn't get them all. What do you think, Rubes? Where are they? I've been just gridding my butt off. Let's see, it's been, a, oh gosh. I've probably been hiking for two or three hours now and uh, just finally spotted the first shed of the day of the year. First brownie, 2019 on the board. And I think it's the buck I've been calling the big three points, the left side. <clears throat> so man, I hope I can match him up. That would be so cool. Anyways, I got a little ways to go, so I will uh, get back with you guys when I get down there and pick him up. Yes. All right guys, so, you know, having a shed hunting dog is amazing, but one thing I never thought about is I hardly ever get any good ATLs because right now Ruby sees I've got my phone out, so she knows I've seen something, and she'll always get to it first and pick it up, so <laughs> it's kind of nice, you know, when you can actually get an ATL because this one is cool. It looks like it's right in a bed. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's the one downfall to a shed hunting dog because she always wants to get to it first, pick it up, show me. Anyways, here we go. We're getting close to it now. I think it's the buck I've been calling the big three, but he's definitely got these kind of multiple weird little eye guard, not one kicking forward. I thought he was a lot bigger than this, but it could be, but man, that's a fresh, fresh brownie right there, baby. Yes. 
Man, that's awesome. Look at that, guys. Bloody base. Cool, gnarly eye guards. And just a three point. Still a cool shed. 2019, first brownie, baby. We just smashed up that three point ruby did here. It was, like I said, I never get a, uh, I hardly ever get a clear up. Like I was saying, I hardly ever get to uh, get any ATLs because Ruby picks them up. I, I literally was just about to turn around. I was right on his track. I'd followed his track from his bed and was just about to stop because I didn't want to go into another drainage. I wanted to keep hitting the drainage that we found the original one in and well guys as you can see Ruby is she's living it up she loves it she says yeah heck yeah look at that yeah sweet three point I got photos and video of this buck I thought he was a lot bigger, but let's check him out. <clears throat> Come here, buddy. Let me see it. Good girl. Look at that. Got that big, long eye guard. Heck yeah. I, I want to say there was two three points, and this might be the, the smaller of the two. I don't know. But definitely same gene pool. Big right eye guard, and then kind of the gnarly base on the other side. But super cool, guys. Heck yeah. Man, I'm so stoked. <laughs> First brown set, 2019. I got one, Ruby got the other one. I'll show you where it was, it's right here. It's just sitting there, just like this. Just tines down, just like that. Just the button st sticking up. That's what you call a fresh shed, guys. Bloody bases. Man, I love it. If I can get that in the frame, he kind of sat out like that. Cool buck. Awesome three point, guys. Look at that eye guard on that side. That is so cool. Such an awesome buck. Nice bloody base. And then this side. Really cool. Look at kind of that gnarly eye guard and base. Bloody. Just how we like them, guys. Heck yeah. Let's see if I can get back here a little further. So can... Not a huge buck, but man, cool. Cool three point and brownies. I'll take that all day long. <clears throat> Sweet. Yeah, baby. Yes! Love it. Thank you. 